Many of them just have debris circling them. Staying in Muskegon this afternoon, a mobile home park cleaning up after storms took down multiple trees there. Um, yeah, the storm left dozens of people without power and water. We have 13 on your sides. Julie Koharik joining us live from there now. And Julie, you actually spoke with a woman who had a very close call, right? Yeah, very close call. Alicia lives here in Maple Island Estates, and this tree was just inches from taking out her car. A lot of her neighbors weren't as lucky. Trees fell on cars, on homes. Some have split, but still haven't fallen yet. And because they use well water here, they don't have any water right now. So no water, no bathrooms, no showers, no air conditioning. Alicia says as a mother of a child with disabilities, that's a big problem. My biggest concern because of her Dravet syndrome is that it's going to get hot in the house and I need to cool her down. So like I said, as soon as the rain actually lets up and I don't see any more lightning, we're going to pop her in her wheelchair and just kind of stroll her around and make sure she's cooled down. She said her daughter had one of her doctor's appointments today, but that was also canceled because they don't have power either. We have seen some fire trucks and maintenance crews come throughout the area, but the consumer's outage map doesn't currently have a time for when the power will be back on here. For now, live in Muskegon County, Julie Koharik, 13 on your side. Thank you, Julie.